Hello guys, so here is a problem on circle. Uh, let us read the problem now. A circular lamin of 50 mm. 50 mm diameter is standing with one of its points on the rim on HP. On HP, okay. One of its points, any point you can take, right? And the lamina inclined at 45 degree to HP. The diameter at right angles to the diameter which is passing through the point on which the lamina rests is parallel to VP. It is parallel to VP. Which diameter? The diameter which is perpendicular to the diameter which is passing through the resting point. Hmm? That I will explain. Draw the projections. Okay. Full stop. Now, I have drawn the XY line. So, VP and HP. <coughs> so, it's a circle of 50 mm diameter uh, resting on HP. So, 50 mm diameter means what is the radius? 25 mm, right? So take 25 mm, 25 mm radius and draw the initial position in HP. Okay. So, now Divide this circle into 8 parts. Divide this circle into 8 parts using thin lines. Okay. Use thin lines. So, 8 parts. Right. So now let us name it A, B, C, D, E, F, G and H. So this is how we have divided circle into 8 parts. Now this is our top view. We have to get, get its front view by projecting all the points upwards. So let us do it now. A. This B and H on the same line. This D and F on the same line. And C and G, of course, same line. Right? So thin lines for projections. And join this. And you, you can just increase the thickness of this. Right? As well E. E as well. Right? You can just increase the thickness of the view so now this is my a dash correct this is my b dash within the bracket h dash this is c dash within the bracket g dash here it is d dash within the bracket f dash and at last it is e dash see h dash g dash and f dash are hidden so they are in brackets okay so next the lamina is inclined at 45 degree to HP. So inclination with respect to HP can be seen in VP. So 45 degree. Take the protractor, measure it for 45 degree. Okay, 45 degree, 45 degree. So draw one thin infinite line for this. Okay. So mention the dimension. It is 45 degree. So now you can. Measure this using compass and you can cut the same on this 45 degree line completely and you can separately cut arcs for each and every point. Okay, each and every point you can cut the arc. C dash G dash and also D dash F dash. Okay, so let's so can increase the thickness of this and name it. This will be my A dash, <coughs> this will be my B dash H dash, this will be my C dash G dash No, we didn't cut C dash. this is my this is my this is my D dash F dash, right? This is my 
d dash f dash and at last it is e dash we didn't cut arc for c dash g dash hmm? okay we didn't cut arc for no 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 there is a mistake in naming actually everything is there <coughs> we have to take a dash from here no this is our a dash and b dash h dash c dash g dash d dash f dash and e dash right so have to be very clear with the notations so a dash you have to consider here so b dash h dash c dash dash d dash f dash and e dash okay so now project it downwards project it downwards project it project it and project it forward from this these two will get in the same line b and d right get in the same line this h and f will get the same line and g hmm? so we will get it like this so now search for the common points a and a so this is a b and b this is b c and c this is c d and t this is d e and e so this will be my e f and f this will be my f and g and g so this will be my g at last h and h so this will be my h hope you got this so now we got all the points we have to join it using our free hands right so it should look like an ellipse So we got this position as well. So it is almost looking like as an ellipse. In the system while you are doing, you will get it as a clear ellipse. Since we are doing it using free hands, we will get it almost like an ellipse. Okay. So now the next condition is the diameter at right angles to the diameter which is passing through the point on which the laminar S is parallel to VP. So what he is telling is so a is the corner on which the circular lamina is resting in its initial position. Mm. So the diagonal passing through this corner or point A is AE. Okay. And the diagonal perpendicular to this diagonal A is GC. So in the problem condition he is telling this GC is parallel to XY line. This GC is parallel to XY line or parallel to VP. So we have to re reconstruct this particular ellipse this particular thing here by taking CG which is parallel to this XY line okay so now for that what we can do is first consider this point A and mark anywhere on this here okay so now so now measure A to E measure A to E right anyhow which is perpendicular now draw on the straight line and mark for e mark for e got it so now keeping a and e as two points we have to cut all other points now uh, let us cut it for uh, a to h a to h so when a is here we will get it h this way no this side h a to h and a to b are equal again so we will get b this side right so now so we have to cut the same from e so e to b and e to h are again different are again same hmm? so e to 
here and e to this so what is this point now <coughs> e to this is b now this is our b and this is my h right so now a to g a to g a to g and get it this side get it this way and similarly a to c and get it this way so now take from e e to g and e to c again they are same e to g and e to this thing right so again from e we have to so that we have to get the construction lines so now what is this this is my c and this is my g proper so now cg cg is what happened which is parallel to xy line correct so next a to f at last a to f and a to d again they are equal a to f and a to d and cut it from e also a to f and a to d so after c it is d e and f proper so now join for all the points b to a a to h b to c c to d d to e e to f f to g g to h so we got the ellipse like this so now you can observe here this gc this gc if i join hmm, this is parallel to vp or xy line but one more point here in the problem he is telling which is parallel to vp that means this a this point a can either be on this line xy or it can be just below the xy line also no problem there is no rule that we have to make this point a to touch xy line there is nothing like that even this point a can be well below the xy line but the cg should be parallel to xy line that is the condition so now it is easy project everything upward project everything upward and here project everything forward using thin lines okay so now right on so a and a so this will be again a dash b and b so b dash c and c c dash d and d d dash e and e e dash f and f f dash g and g g dash h and h will be h dash at last right so now join So like this we have to join for the last corner so even it will look like an ellipse so whenever you solve this problem in the system you will get it properly here you will get it almost like an ellipse right so this is about this problem hope you understood this right thank you